Hi there, everybody. Welcome to a Facebook Live with Rhonda. It's Thursday because yesterday, I think everyone broke Facebook. It just wasn't working. Um, maybe everybody was trying to do Facebook Lives at the same time, but all day and night, Facebook was not working. I tried really hard to come to you yesterday. So instead, I am coming to you today on Thursday, which is not my norm, so I'm kind of squeezing it in with my normal, regular schedule. I have, but I have a really cute project, and I didn't want to not see you all together. So welcome to all of my friends who are joining me from all over. Um, we are going to just do a card today. I say just a card, but you know I try very hard if we're going to make just a card that has something fun to it, something different, so that when somebody opens that card that they're going to be surprised. Um, Susan is here today, um, and so is Michelle. So if I forget something, they can, they can bail me out. But Susan just, you know, she always likes to come and look at what I'm working on. And when she opened this one, again, it's just a very simple card. She's like, wow, there's something fun inside. So we are going to make a fun card today. Uh, we're going to be using the Botanical Butterfly Paper. It is our free celebration paper. It's still available. Hooray for that. We still have a lot of awesome products that are available through celebration, but I'm not going to promise you it's going to be available later because um, they, things have been selling out and this paper has been very popular. So I'm so grateful that we, that we still have it. Hello everybody that's watching me live um, or on the replay. I value all of you and are so glad that you're here. I did miss you yesterday. Um, just so you know, I'm sure most of you realize that Facebook was just not working yesterday. Uh, it, they were you know, having technical difficulties, which I thought it was me. So I was messing for a while with my phone and then I realized that everybody was having the same issues. So let me show you what we're gonna make. It's just this really simple card. And I'm using um, one of the prettiest pieces in the um, botanical butterfly paper. It's really pretty um, Highland Heather with a little bit of, um, you could also mix it with gorgeous grape. So it's this really pretty purple color, um, perfect for spring, perfect for Easter, um, just pretty, pretty perfect. It's awesome, awesome color. And then the back side are these little, um, little, it's a black and white. So if you have not seen, if you live under a rock or have not seen the botanical butterfly paper, because it's everywhere out there in the internet world, if you, but some of you are newer to stamping, so maybe you haven't seen it. So I'm gonna show you the paper and then we're gonna make some cards with it. Oh, see, I just teased you. See, it's a really simple card. Um, just using the daisy punch, which I've used a lot lately. But look what happens when you open it. Are you ready? Bam! We've got some really pretty butterflies. It's all made with a botanical butterfly paper. So I'm gonna show you how to make this really fun card. So when you open it, it's got, oh, thank you. Someone already gave me a smiley face, a little laughy face, cause it's like, bam, it's so fun. So it's like simple on the outside and really cool on the inside. We got butterflies that are flying. So there you go. That's what we're gonna make today. I'm gonna teach you how to make this. Um, if you, I want you to use your imagination and realize you can do it not just for, for butterflies, but let's say you're making a birthday, uh, birthday card and you could go bam and it would have like balloons on the inside. Or let's say you're making one for Valentine's Day or for somebody that you love, then you could go bam and there'll be hearts on the inside. So you could have a lots of different things that you have here. Um, this one is just for a friend. And I really wanted to showcase the Botanical Butterflies paper because it's only gonna be available for about three more weeks or until it sells out. So you wanna make sure you grab it while you can. And you can only get it for free, which is really cool. So when you put in an order of $50, then you can get that for free. I'm also going to use the part of my story stamp set, um, which is also a free sale, a free celebration choice. All right, you guys ready to jump in? I think I've got lots of you on here. I always chat with you for a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to make this card um, in, a, in a, a different format. Okay, so I'm going to turn you down. Happy Thursday to you guys too. I know I'm used to coming to you guys on a Wednesday, so this is definitely new, um, new, new for me for sure. I know up here you can kind of see a little bit of my mess that I have. This card actually has quite a few pieces, so I've got a lot of it here to be able to show you. 
So first of all, this is the Botanical Butterfly Paper. I love it because one side is black and white. This is the piece we're gonna use next. And then the other side will have just the you know, gorgeous butterflies on it. Um, we're gonna be using lots of these different pieces. This is a pretty um, you know, green piece. And then we've got black and white. This was my favorite piece. I've opened up, I don't know how many, 20, 30 packs of this. And this piece has gone out of all of them. This is my favorite piece. And the back is just plain um, black and white polka dots. But you see, it's such a versatile, um, oh, this one is so pretty too. And then the other side is just little, little tiny butterflies that fit with this punch. This is a butterfly duet punch. You cannot order it right yet. In April, it'll be available again. But here's the deal. This paper will not be available in April. So you still, even though you are not gonna get this punch yet, or Stampin' Up! made 60,000 of them and they sold all of them. So 60,000 of you have this punch. Um, but those of you who don't, you can get it in April. But this paper is only available in March. So you wanna make sure you get the paper now and then you get the punch later, okay? But look, they, these cute little um, butterflies, they work perfect with, with this punch. So you can, here's one, easy to get. You can just line this right up. Look, it's perfect, the little tiny one. And then you can punch it. And then you have these perfect little, perfect little butterflies out of the paper. So no stamping, no coloring, but they're gorgeous. All right, you ready to jump in? Let's take this piece right here. This is the one that I had kind of mentally thought that we were, I'm gonna use. What's on the back of that? Oh, I actually kind of like this piece though too. And this has got the great, yeah, let's see. All right, we're gonna go, I need that piece for something else. Okay, so we're gonna take this, you're gonna take your designer series paper. Obviously, if you don't have this paper, you wanna get it, but if you don't get it, then you can always use any paper that you want to. And we're gonna cut this to five and a half. So this is a five and a half by 12 piece of paper. I always love showing you ways to use up your paper, right? Now you're gonna need your scoring tool. We got quite a bit of scoring here. For those of you who um, want the measurements, I will tell them to you now, and then I will put them in the description of this video after I post it, okay? So I will have them written down for you. So the first thing you're gonna do is score it at four and a quarter. Make sure you use just your scoring blade, four and a quarter. And then we're gonna do it at five. Then five and three quarters. And then that is five and three quarters. Then we're gonna do it at six and a half. And then one more is going to be at seven and a quarter, okay? So I will go through those one more time so you can catch them if you wanna write them down. Ready? We, oh, and then after seven and a quarter, then you are going to cut it off at 11 and a half. So we're just gonna cut this piece off. So really, it was five and a half by an 11 and a half piece of paper, okay? Here's our score marks. We're gonna score it at four and a quarter. We're gonna score it at five, five and three quarters, six and a half, and seven and a quarter. So I don't even know how many, that's like four, four different, you know, one, two, three, four, five different score marks, okay? So that's what we're going to do. And now we just gotta fold along those lines and it creates this, like an accordion in here, inside our card. So this, the outside of our card on this one is gonna be the black and white. And then the inside, we're gonna have this really pretty balmy blue with the butterflies. So what you wanna use here is we are going to use some tear tape. All right, let me show you where you're gonna put your tear tape. And um, you wanna put it on, the. this is the back side of the card. We wanna tear tape down um, this to make almost like an accordion. So we'll put some tear tape there on that one panel. And then we're gonna put tear tape here on this panel, like that, okay. On the inside, so that's the back side. That's only because these these are going to get stuck together like that. So that way the card will stay shut, and you don't even know that it's in that it's in accordion. But on the inside, at first I want to just put one piece of tear tape in that very middle valley. Okay, that very middle valley. We're gonna put a piece of tear tape in there. Okay, I, today I'm only gonna show you one project, but it's. 
And it's, this is easy. It just takes a little bit of time, but wow, isn't it worth it? Are those of you who, for those of you who are just joining me, we're just gonna make a really sweet and simple card. As you can tell, here's a sample one I made already. It's real sweet and simple. And then when you open it, it's gonna be like, bam, we got the butterflies flying around. See how cute that is? So when people open it, they're gonna be really surprised and happy with you, okay? So you just have that piece right there. So what I'm gonna do is just do the little prep work though before I pull that tape off so that we, I don't mess it up. So I'm gonna use a piece of vellum. You could also use like a window sheet if you wanted to. And I'm gonna just cut off three different, kind of three different sizes, all right? Now I'm gonna pull this little baby off of here, our little tear tape. And now I'm gonna position this. So in the middle one, I'm gonna put right in the middle and I'm just gonna, it's a little bit higher there. And then these are each gonna go on the side and they're a little bit, they're a little bit shorter. So these are the places where our butterflies are going to, um, and I'm just guessing, that's, that's pretty good. Now I can pinch this together. See how easy that was? So easy, so just put a piece of tear tape, position your little, um, your little thingies here, see? And now our butterflies. Now again, you can make it birthday and put balloons. You can do this a whole lot of different ways as well. All right, so now we are going to get our butterflies. And this is how I did our butterflies. A piece of the paper hat is just covered with them. Just like the little ones, they have big ones that match as, that match as well. So I just kind of go in here and um, cut out, you know, the ones that I want. I want this, uh, we need six of them. So uh, you just uh, take this and you position it. Can you see? We're gonna position it so the butterfly is just perfectly right there and then punch that. So um, we need six of these. Well, you know me, we're gonna go to our magic box and shake that up and pull out six of them that are already done. Voila. Um, on these, we are going on, I would pick, uh, I have these are all different colors. So um, I'm gonna take three of them though and take our dimensionals and put dimensionals on each one of these. So that, and we're gonna just sandwich these together over top of the, can you see? Oops, I'm out of the little here. Then we're gonna put, I just put two dimensionals on the back of these butterflies like that. Okay, let's take the one and pull it apart. Take off your dimensionals. And then you take another one and then you're just going to sandwich them together. Like I, I'll even put this one on there a little bit and then I'll take my other one and line it up and just sandwich it right there like that. See, isn't that cute? So cute and so easy. And I love, I can't wait. This is my favorite part. This is why I love doing Facebook Lives is I know some of you are going to go right now and you're gonna make this card and you're gonna make it um, so different than me. And some of you are gonna make a birthday version. Some of you are gonna make a heart version. I think somebody out there is gonna make me a frog one. Can you guys make me a frog one that are like with the frog framelits? So that would be fun to open it up and have the frogs there. How cute. Or there's the bunny one. You can make it with a bunny or something like that. So I know you guys are gonna get really creative with this idea and make some different ones, right? What other ideas do you think you could make? What else could you like pop up? So I'm gonna just put this here. Then we'll sandwich with our different one. So that was really easy, right? You just need six. There you go. Now let's finish this, okay, let's finish this card. I got two pieces of Whisper White and these are three and three quarters by five. And I'm just gonna take my snail adhesive and I glued these to the inside of the card so it gives me a place to be able to write my message. Now I like putting white on both sides because that way when you open it, it really, you can really, like you see, can you see that? How it really helps the butterflies to kind of like offset. All right, I can't wait to read your guys' comments to see if you like my project or not. All right, so let's do this back piece. Um, I already you know, put the tear tape here. You could just do that step now if you wanted to. You didn't have to do it early. 
So um, pull off your pull off your tear tape. All right, and then do the other side. I love when you do an accordion. You want to make sure again this is done with tear tape or like that green Tombow glue. That's really it's you need it to be sticky. Okay, so now there's no more accordion. It's just sandwiches. Look how cool that is. I could do this all day. Couldn't, couldn't you just watch that all day? It's just so fun. All right, let me just do the last but not least here. We gotta decorate this. I'm gonna use um, Grapefruit Grove as my accent color because that's in through all this pretty paper. You could use the balmy blue too. I'm gonna use this punch. Oh man, it was the ribbon. I remembered it yesterday. All this was from yesterday. It's the ribbon, decorative ribbon border punch and I'm gonna I went here I'm gonna punch this and then I just want I actually I just want this scallop right here okay so that's what that's what I'm gonna get is just that that scallop so now I'm gonna line this up here try to and then just keep punching all the way down have you guys used this punch yet this I don't you can Obviously, if you really like this pretty um, border, you could do the other side. I want the just the scalloped side. I want um, just a pretty scallop to go down my card. Here, this, and this one's just about done. Okay, so now that I've made myself a little bit of a confetti mess, let's clean off the spot so you guys can see how clean it be. So I'm gonna just take the black, and I'm gonna put a thing of adhesive down there. And I'm going to just see, all I wanted was a little bit of that pretty scalloped. So, or you could do this end as well. Which one? Let's do this end on this one. And it just gives me a little bit of a, you know, a unique little edge. I have glue on that. A unique little edge down there, can you see? Um, in the sample card, I did it with, um, there's a sample, oh, here we go. The sample card, I did it with the uh, gorgeous, gra gorgeous grape, and it just has a little bit of a scallop down there. A little, just a little extra something, something. Um, and so then this, we're going to uh, stamp this. Uh, let's use the words, you're my chosen family. I wanna do that one because I've got so many friends that I have that, um, you know, my family doesn't live locally, so I have a lot of friends that are just huge in my life. Um, they help me take care of my kids. They help me take care of my dog. They help me just take care of me. So we're gonna use your My Chosen Family. Remember when you're stamping with photopolymer or even the clear, you kinda wanna use our um, their little foam pad here and we'll stamp that. Yay, I love that saying. Um, and that's gonna get, I always stamp first and then glue down because you know I'm gonna make a mistake. I could always flip it over and try again on the other side. So this, people are, I know you're gonna ask, this white is three by four, and the black is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, then we are going to glue this down to the front of our card. Now I'm, I'm gonna pop it up. I always love, um, love dimension on my cards. So we're just gonna put this down to the front of our card. Those of you who are just joining, wait till you see what's inside this card because you're that's what's gonna make it so special. And it was really easy to make. I also love how it just uses up our designer series paper too. So you'll have to wait around for a minute. So there's our, let's see if I can get this straight. It's easy to get this straight because it's got the lines. There you go. Last but not least, let's finish. Um, we're going to put a daisy on this. Again, let's just go to our little magic box, open it up, and look, I've got the daisy pieces in there. Uh, I got two white daisies, and then we're just gonna go ahead and curl, curl that with our bone folder, get a nice curl to it, and do that to both of them. And we're gonna sandwich them to, oh, look what I did. That stinks when that happens. I just, I got a little vicious and ripped a little thing right off of there. Look, no one will ever know. I'm gonna take a mini glue dot and put that back on there. And then that one will go, it's a, a, it's a little shorter, but you'll never know there. And we'll just curl it there. Now, whenever, if anything you ever learned from me, it's how to fix your mistakes. This one's gonna go in the back because it's got the little stumpy leg on it now. 
and but when we put them together you you won't you won't notice he's just sticking back there one thing I want to do though I am going to take um, a couple more mini glue dots and put on the back of my um, daisy let me show you why have you guys done this before then you just take some baker's twine this is the um, silver baker's twine so it's got um, a little bit of sparkle to it and I'm just gonna wrap this behind because the card is so it's such a simple card um, on the outside I wanted to add a little I wanted to dress it up just a little bit so you just kind of do like lasso loops like you know how you would like, just make it like almost look like it's a lasso and I just stick those back there um, there we go got to get one more stuck down it's not, it's actually very simple. I'm making it much more difficult than it needs to be there. So then it just creates a little bit of that prettiness behind it. And you'll kind of like wanna, you wanna leave the strands. Okay, now we'll take another dimensional and put behind here, and then that kind of holds that ribbon in place, that baker's twine in place as well. So we'll just pull that off. And then that goes up here in the corner. See how that just adds that little bit of sparkle. And then last but not least, we'll take the middle to our card. Oh, I'm so excited about this card. I can think of several people I would send it to. There you go. There's the outside. You guys love it. You know I love it when you give me hearts. And also when you share this video so other people can enjoy um, and learn how to make something like this as well. Um, they can, it's really, it's so simple. Then when you open it up, then you've got your butterflies inside. So people will be, so those of you who are just joining us, the inside is what is so cool and fun, very different. Those of you who know me know I always love to make something simple. So here's the other one we did in the, high, the, Highland, the Highland Heather. So I'm gonna pull you guys up here. Oh, you do love it. I do see lots of hearts. That always makes me happy. So we've got the, this is the Highland Heather version. And then when you open it, You've got your beautiful butterflies on the inside. And then this is our thank you. I love your hearts. Um, it, very simple too. It's just like some cutting and a, a, it was five score lines. And I will give you the measurements. I know some of you are like, well, what are the measurements? I said them early, but I will also post them in the, in the description. Oh, you, uh, Gwen said she could see a million ways to use it. I'm hoping that you guys make this and then share with me, always tag me in the post, um, post it on my page, post it on your page, post it on any stamping page, post it on your home page. But I love it when you tag me in it so then I can see it. Um, oh, Lisa said it's another winning card. So I'm very excited about that. Oh my gosh, my Ryan is on here, my son Ryan. He said, hey, there's that beautiful face. What, what boy tells her mother that she's beautiful? He's so special. Very sweet, honey. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, shouldn't you be in class? You're supposed to be in college right now. You must have a little break. Wait, it's making me get teary-eyed. I just love that. So anyway, there's your cards for today. I'm so, so glad that I got to pop on here and see you. And, and um, uh, now my challenge is turned over to you. I want to see what you can create with this easy card layout but fun and imagine the people that you give it to, what they're gonna feel like when they open it up. It's gonna like, wow, it just kind of came out of nowhere. So thanks for joining me. I will see you next week. I have another week here in March, I'll come and I'm gonna go back to our Wednesdays. So Wednesdays, I come to you about, about 10, about 10 o'clock and um, now here's the deal. The next week I'm on spring break and I get to go away with my children. So I won't be coming to you the last week of March, but I'll be here next week and I so look forward to seeing you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.